The gentleman from Alexandria, Mr. Levine. Mr. Speaker, speaking to the bill. The gentleman has the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I have a tremendous respect for the gentleman who's introducing this bill, but this bill is basically a refugee tracking bill. It does not require that the refugees that are being tracked actually have received any funds whatsoever from Virginia or from the federal government. There was some talk earlier about the burden on, for example, Catholic agencies resettling Cuban refugees. Well, a Catholic agency receiving no public funds now has to issue these reports. And while they are non-identifying, they have to be very, very specific, including the locality in which each individual was placed and the age, gender, and national origin of each individual. You could say there's a Syrian girl aged eight in one small town in Virginia or a Cuban boy aged 10 in another small town in Virginia. You might as well put a scarlet letter named R on them. Everyone will know there's a refugee. I understand that sometimes towns need this information. If the nonprofit wants to provide this information voluntarily, I'm all for it. But there is some sentiment throughout the country against some of these refugees. And if the nonprofit taking no money from Virginia or the federal government uh, wants to keep the identity of the people it's helping secret, I think the nonprofit should have the ability to do that. And I urge everyone to oppose this legislation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.